This news coming down just in time for move in day which starts this morning. Yeah, this year is going to look much the same as last year as several COVID protocols do remain in place. Team 12's Jess Winters joins us now live this morning from the Tempe campus. So Jess, how's this all going to work? Yeah, good morning. A lot of ASU faculty, staff, students never thought a year and a half later we would still be dealing with pandemic protocols, procedures, precautions, but here we are. Joining me now is the Dean of Students for the Tempe campus. You can come on in. We can walk a little bit closer. How are you this morning, Cassandra? I am absolutely wonderful. I'm excited to welcome all of our new Sun Devils to Arizona State University this year. Yes, and the sun is coming up as more and more students, thousands of students will be moving in. Now, what sort of precautions and protocols do you have in place that are similar to fall 2020? Right. So this year, as you can see, we are set up outdoors so that our students and our families can come through and check in and pick up their keys and get guidance as far as where to go for their residential hall in order to move in. When they get to their residential halls, we'll have a team there to help unload their cars and get it up to their rooms while families go and park their car and come back and meet their belongings in the residential halls. And how many students will be moving in today on the Tempe campus? Oh, well, we have 16,000 students moving into the residential halls across all four locations. And each day is a different number um, because we're thinking critically about how many students make sense with their families to come onto campus in order to have a smooth experience with us. Any lessons learned from past semesters from the fall 2020? Any changes that you're going to be implementing today that you learned that went wrong kind of the first time around during the pandemic? Well, it's a pandemic, and so we're all always learning. I wish there was a playbook for this, but there is not. So what I do appreciate is that we're all being attentive as to what's happening now and thinking critically about how to continue to provide our students with the experience that they're looking for, which they're excited about being in person, in their classes, and connected to their peers. In ASU, they're not requiring the vaccine, but it's still, of course, strongly encouraged. They're offering incentives like, hey, you can enter and win a drawing, you can win some prizes, some tickets. How can students enter? That is a wonderful question. And once our students um, have received their vaccination, they can upload their vaccination card to their ASU, My, uh, ASU Health Portal, which is an easy way for them to keep not only their vaccination card, but all of their medical information, right? Our students are coming, they're growing, they're becoming independent young adults, and this is another way in order for them to learn how to do that. When they do that, between now and the end of August, they're entering to win Hamilton tickets because we will have Hamilton here at Gamage. Awesome. Cassandra, thank you so much for your time. We'll check in with you again in about an hour. For now, reporting live in Tempe, Jess Winters, Today in AZ.